What's up guys, Neophyte Stacker here. Thank you for tuning into my very first video. I uh, wanted to introduce myself to the stacking community. The stacking community has been wonderful. I've been stacking for the last year and a few months and I've learned so much. The community has been super positive, very helpful, very informative. Um, you know, there's there's never any kind of hesitation to help another stacker out when you have questions, and especially when you're new and you're learning, um, you know, everything about gold and silver. That's one of the coolest things that if you're a newbie stacker, this is going to be the channel for you because I'm going to put uh, a lot of information um, and I'm going to condense that information into to videos that are going to be in the, you know, maybe four to five minute ranges or maybe even 10 minutes if I can get if I have a lot of info to, to make <clears throat> to kind of share with you guys but um, big shout out to all of the big uh, YouTube channels that are pumping out content for consumption for education big shout out thank you guys for creating that content it really helps new people coming in and um, the reason why I want to kind of contribute my channel was because last year I was sh sorting through all of those videos that you guys have so some channels have hundreds of videos on there and when you have simple questions or just um, you know you want to learn it's hours of hours of, of videos that you got to kind of watch and to sort through those and there's a lot of uh, videos that are just doing reviews on coins but there's certain information from those videos that are very helpful so I was thinking, okay, I'm going to, uh, you know, condense a lot of that information into simple videos uh, and share them with the new stackers who are coming on board because I know there's going to be a lot of new stackers coming into the community because of this pandemic. Same way I got involved, this was at the end of 2018, I was investing in stocks and the market, much talk about a big crash coming or a pullback, um, and I was starting to Google about other investments um, and gold and silver came up so I jumped into the silver bug um, you know the silver bug bit me and I was a full go I want to continue to buy silver and stack silver for the rest of my life and you gotta kinda develop a plan of action and um, you know a strategy and that's something that I've been working on and um, my strategy is a little bit different from most people on YouTube which I thought was another unique thing of me um, I'm what you call a nickel and dime stacker which is a very conservative way to buy precious metals um, it's pretty much if you you know think about it you're buying precious metals the same way you would buy insurance for your car so if you have a, a newer car that you have to pay full coverage to, you always have to pay monthly, right? So you take the same idea and you put it into precious metals. This is this is pretty much a budget. But you know from now on, you're always going to have that budget for precious metals the rest of your life. So that's a big commitment. It's a big adjustment if you um, don't make a whole lot of money. Again, I don't make a whole lot of money. I'm almost paycheck to paycheck, guys. So if you think, oh, this stuff is really expensive, but it's really cool, you can definitely stack silver um, the rest of your life and have a decent amount of silver by the time you get to retirement on a on a very low income. And I think that's what's awesome. It's never brought up in like in high school. I wasn't this no. Uh, in college, not even. I wasn't that smart enough to figure it out. But <clears throat> if you're a new newbie who's very young, you know, um, in the 20 to 25 range, blessings to you because this is going to be so beneficial to your financial um, position. Stacking silver, uh, investing in other avenues as well. And I think that's one of the, the issues that, that a lot of people have with my strategy is that I'm not spending a whole lot but I'm still stacking um, as opposed to you know some guys who I see thousands of dollars a month that they're spending in precious metals but they're also avoiding certain things they don't put into their 401k as much or they take out money to buy precious metals when their 401k is pretty high um, they don't do an IRA uh, they don't do uh, stocks and that's something that's different about me I buy stocks as well but um, those other investments are very valuable to me as well. And I think that they're more valuable than precious metals. But 
precious metals act as an insurance. So again, just like car um, auto insurance, you pay that monthly bill every month, uh, hoping that you're not going to ever get into an accident and use it, but it's enough money to insure and cover a major accident, right? So we're, uh, you know, when we pick out auto insurance, we're not hoping for the most expensive every month. We're doing the minimal that's going to cover us in a uh, major collision. So that's what we're doing here with precious metals in my form of, of uh, stacking. I'm buying the minimum amount I need to buy. I'm putting that money aside and budgeting uh, just like everyone else, but it's just not as big a volume. So um, again, and and not to judge the other bigger channels, they just have more money than I do. And they're, you know, they may be, be they may be doing the same thing, but they're not uh, really expressing that they're not really saying it out loud and saying yeah this is what I'm doing five to ten percent so uh, that's something that I just kind of wanted to share quickly with you and then share these rounds with you um, I got some cool li Libertad coins I love these coins they're coming out of Casa de Moneda the mint out of Mexico these are actually rounds they're not coins because coins hold value um, through the government and this has no value in peso it's just in a this is considered an investment uh, round, which is really, really cool because these coins hold a high premium. Uh, these coins will pretty much be on eBay for around the $30 mark, you know, give or take a dollar or two. But these are really cool. I love them. Um, I'm, I'm Mexican-American, so they vibe with me really cool. Uh, they, they vibe with me a lot. Uh, this is a newer one, 2017. The 1819 and I think the 2020 looks like it's going to be the same design. It's a timeless design. I love this coin. I mean round. I'm sorry. I get them mixed up still. Uh, very cool. Uh, this is a coin. This is the 2020 Britannia coin. This is going to be found in most stackers stacks. Um, a very a government back coin. This has a value. Two pounds. You can see it right there. Um, yeah, this is a very common coin in everyone's stack. Uh, and then you can see this is a silver shield round out of uh, Golden State Mint in Florida. This is a very cool. I love this one because of all the detail. The pirate um, kind of makes you just think about that, you know, the old times where they're hoarding gold and silver. And then this is a silver shield series round. Um, if you don't know who's behind this uh, brand, this Chris Dwayne, if you can YouTube him, and check out his videos that would be really cool you can see someone who's all in on silver so uh, he has a lot of ideas interesting ideas uh, very interesting character check him out and then I got a another round right here this is a standing Liberty round uh, really cool design as well this is uh, out of Golden State Mint out of Florida again no value so that means it's around so that's kind of like the simple stuff that you're going to see on my my channel uh, so anyone who's a seasoned stacker this may be just boring but um again this is going to be geared towards those new those new stackers who are coming in all right guys thank you for checking out my very first video uh like comment and subscribe por favor uh happy blessings happy stacking